Okay, here I have my CRB and there's a tray. And I'm about to change out the brushes for my CRB um, to do this job. This is a vacant home with nylon carpet. So I have the brown brushes in my CRB, which are too aggressive. And they're made for commercial carpet. And here I have my blue brushes, which are just fine for this nylon carpet. But that's not the reason why I am, um, that's not the reason why that I'm doing this video. It's not the subject of this video. So I'm gonna take these out. I'm gonna take them out one by one, and that's gonna go in this tray. I want you to notice something about my CRB. You guess it's definitely used. I've had this thing for several years, um, probably going on four years now. And we're gonna replace it with this blue. And my brown brush is gonna go in here. We're gonna take the bottom one out. And take a look. Do you notice anything? The CRB is very clean and ready for a new job. So it's a good idea to practice cleaning your equipment after each job so that you don't cross contaminate your equipment nor cross contaminate into a customer's home or business. Okay, plus your equipment will last a lot longer as well. Also, these little bars tend to get hair or, or fibers um, can wrap around it, make it very difficult to change the brushes out or to clean it out if you don't clean it for a long time. Okay, so just a little um, tip and um, something I'm sharing with you guys that people now are concerned about during the COVID-19 season, uh, keeping everything clean and sanitized. But if you practice this as part of your regular procedure, it is, I mean, it just becomes no big deal. So this is for good, safe practice, and um, I think every professional should do. All right, thanks for viewing.